everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be trying an experiment that's a little out there, inspired by Bluecast. We're going to be doing a three hour rapid burnout. Although this is a little weird, we're going to try to do it in the most optimal way possible. Meaning with our X vest that we're going to try to use up, we're going to be mixing to a thicker ratio to try to withstand any shock, try to withstand any thermal expansion. And that's going to be the 36 to 100 ratio. Approximately. I like rounding because I usually deal with larger amounts of investment than this. As well as that, we're going to be using a smaller flask than we normally would. You probably see on this channel, we use four by six inch a lot. These are around two and a half by three inch. So quite a lot smaller. The reasoning for that is we're hoping that this is going to be able to heat up faster and more uniformly in that smaller time frame. If you're new to investment mixing, we have our handy dandy chart, which is available on our website as well as a video mixing course. Uh, so you can follow that along if you don't know the ins and outs of a 36 to 100 ratio. I'm going to get my PPE on and start mixing. approximately an hour. While that's setting, we're going to be heating up the kiln to approximately 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Now the reason we want to preheat is because we really want that three hour window. We have an analog system and she takes a quick second to heat up. So we're going to give her that time to do so, so we can have that three hours instead of a four hour drag trying to hit temps. So it's been an hour. We're actually a little higher on the kiln than we wanted to be but that's fine. We're now gonna take the rubber bases off because everything's set up. Ooh, there we go. We're gonna take those and set them into our kiln, making sure we give them a little bit of oxygen without trying to burn my hands. There we go. We're now going to gently increase this to about 1350 Fahrenheit over the next about hour, hour and a half, and then let it hold for at least an hour and try to have the overall kiln time be that three hour time limit before decreasing it and getting ready for cast.
Okay, so we went through and we quickly cleaned this up. Now that we get a chance to actually look at the surface of the bronze, we can see that there are some surface issues. We didn't get a full and complete burnout on the bigger items. Now, this is common knowledge. The bigger your item is, the longer your burnout generally should be. So with vintage specifically, maybe a four hour would have been better, maybe a five hour, because we know it works at six with items of this size and even bigger. We just did a review of Jamie High Wax Plus, and even on that one with the seven hour burnout, we were seeing great results on rings like this and not great results on rings like of this size. So burnout, temper that expectation depending on item size and plan out for best results. So next time, if we were to do this, we might try another resin, one that is more wax-like, but if it's wax-like, it's kind of hard to print really detailed and delicate things. So we're at this weird impasse where we're not sh quite sure at this point where to go with testing of these short and rapid burnouts. But if you wanna see more content like this where we're trying to push the envelope a bit, make sure that you like and share the content and get subscribed if you aren't already. If you're having trouble with your castings of regular uh, scale burnouts, six or 12 hours, and you'd like some one-on-one -on -one help, make sure that you look at our YouTube membership options so you can join our Discord channel and chat with us one-on-one -on -one, as well as our fellow Discord members uh, and get some input and generally just share projects with us. Thank you guys for watching. If you've gotten this far into the video, we will see you in the next one.